back everyone. Today we're not going to be going over a holster or anything, but we are going to be going over the belt that I'm wearing. You can see here, I hope you can see at least, I am wearing it. I've been wearing this belt for about four months now. There's been reviews of the Boxer Tactical belt all over the internet, all over gun channels. Uh, pretty much, like I said, for the past four months I've had it. I've not done my review on it yet because I wanted to wear it and see how it does. So I've been wearing this belt pretty much every single day to include uh, work, range, everything. And uh, just to see how it hold up, and uh, I'm very impressed with it, just first and foremost. What we're going to do now is step inside, talk about some of the features of the belt, and uh, what makes it kind of nice, and uh, easy to use, user friendly, and durable. So, that's what's coming up next, guys. We moved inside so we can get a closer look at it, and the first thing I want to point out is, this belt does have a Kydex insert that goes along the middle of it all the way around so when you store the belt if you're not wearing it you want to actually store it like this you don't want to fold it up or roll it or bend it because that's going to affect the kydex insert that's in there um it's also available in several different colors this one here is their coyote color but it's black and there's other ones as well so just check out the website i'll put a link below in the description so you guys can check that out but this is the coyote model and um from the top here you do see pretty evidently that it is two pieces of nylon uh, material around the outside so double thick nylon there with that kydex in between up front here we do have a cobra belt a cobra belt for those of you that don't know and don't use these types of belts is pretty much the industry standard um, the majority of this belt actually all of this belt outside of the uh, cobra buckle here is all made in the usa the materials themselves are made in the usa and then boxer tactical goes ahead and makes it in the usa they are a u.s based company that does all their manufacturing here in the u.s so i'll put a list of the materials here in the video so you can see where they actually come from within the u.s but everything except for the cobra buckle does come from the u.s and the cobra is a um cnc machine part very very durable um, has a lot of credit history if you will uh, throughout the industry um, many of you guys who have been in the military have used Cobra belts on a lot of your rigging gear, so you guys know that. Um, very, very durable thing, and I think it's a good idea that they went with the Cobra belt because, like I said, it's very well known and has an excellent uh, top-notch reputation in terms of the rigging and uh, belt-making community. So, <clears throat> just pointing that out there. Um, if you take a look here at the, we'll separate it there. The one advantage of the belt, I should point that out now, for those of you guys that have never used these kind of belts, is you don't have to undo your belt every time you want to drop your pants or take them off or whatever so very quick to drop them off you don't have to readjust it when you put them back on all you do is close the loop push it in and you're good to go so very very convenient if nothing else but <clears throat> getting into some of the details on it if you look here at the stitching um, one thing you'll notice is that there's one stitch that goes throughout the middle of it and the rest of it here is all on the outside and the reason they did that is to minimize the amount of thread and needle holes they had to put through that kydex insert and when you when they actually put it through the kydex it does create a weak point so they didn't want to create too many weak points along the line so they went one one line all the way down and then moving over to where it joins over at the buckle here this is what's called a uh, 64 stitch bar tax um, Stitch, stitch pattern. It's uh, much stronger than a box pattern. A lot of belts out there use the box pattern. There's nothing wrong with it, but this is actually the mill spec for uh, webbing materials. Like I, like I said earlier, some of you guys may know that. So it's actually the stronger pattern. It's seen on a lot of climbing material. For those of you guys that do a lot of mountain climbing, you'll recognize it uh, right off the bat. So uh, many folks may be more used to the box pattern. It's the easier pattern to do, but they went with the 64 stitch uh, Bartax, and that's why they did. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I've had this belt for a while here and we'll address one thing that I think could be improved and the good news is the folks at Boxer's Tactical are improving it. So um, when you actually undo the belt, what you'll see here is you'll see a one inch piece of Velcro here. This belt is 1.75 inches wide and this is the one inch piece here for the Velcro. Now I think it should have been bigger and on the new belts that are coming out, if you guys probably by the time this video is up, they will be out on Amazon on their Amazon webpage. Those are going to have either a 1.5 or 1.25, I don't remember which uh, section on there. Because the 1 inch, not that it's ever caused a problem, but I just think a little larger section there would help. And you can take a look there at the stitching on that. Very nice. Uh, well done on the outside and then single pattern across the middle there. I should point out while we're at it, this is a resin dipped tongue. Some folks think that this is actually melted. It's not. It's resin dipped and it's there so that it doesn't fray and uh, it's easier to thread when you're actually putting it through your belt loops and your pants but 
Again, for those of you guys that have never used these before, these kind of this tongue piece here that's resin dipped on this one. Some belts do have it melted, but this is resin dipped. Um, you want to be careful where you put your magazine pouches or uh, cell phone pouch for the civilian use out there. Um, because when you're actually utilizing your gear and maybe ripping out of a spare magazine, that can get caught. So it's there, like I said, so it doesn't fray and for easily being able to put it through your belt loops. But um, it can get caught on gear. And... That's another reason I'd like to see a little bit bigger piece of Velcro because it will minimize how that comes off the belt. It's just kind of a one of the things you have to take into account for with the design of these types of belts, but um, they are addressing it like I talked about. As other folks out there have reported, all in all guys, I think this is a top-notch piece of gear. I agree with the majority of the reviews that you see out there on them that are very positive. It does a good job at uh, distributing the load, whether you're just concealed carrying or you have uh, multiple pieces of kit on there it does a good job very sturdy very rigid yet comfortable at the same time he's come to market right at eighty dollars and if you're looking to pick one up guys check out their website uh to see for sizing information because i believe they've just actually changed their sizing information since i bought mine however long ago that was but all in all good piece of gear if you guys have any questions about this or anything else I review here on the channel, feel free to post below in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page that you see below you uh, right here on the screen. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next video.